Hello, everyone. Welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to learn about ISO 14067-2018, which is Greenhouse Carbon Footprint of Products, Requirements, and Guidelines for Quantification. What is ISO 14067? ISO 14067. 2018 is a standard published by the International Organization for Standardization ISO, that provides guidelines for quantifying and reporting the carbon footprint of products CFP. It outlines the principles, requirements, and guidelines for conducting a life cycle assessment LCA, of the greenhouse gas GHGs, emissions associated with a product's entire life cycle. Basically, it helps organizations assess and communicate the environmental impact of their products in terms of carbon emissions. It is important to note that ISO 14067 also uses the principles, requirements, and guidelines for life cycle assessment LCA, which are based on other standard documents such as ISO 14040 and ISO 14044. ISO 14040 describes the principles and framework for LCA, the requirements themselves are defined in ISO 14044. A standardized LCA usually consists of four phases, definition of objectives and scope of the study, life cycle inventory analysis, with inputs and outputs, life cycle impact assessment, and interpretation. GHGs and Carbon Footprint Greenhouse Gas GHGs is a general term for a group of gases that are located in the atmosphere and absorb heat and maintain the temperature of the earth. However, with man-made emissions, too many greenhouse gases can contribute to climate warming. These gases include carbon dioxide, formaldehyde, nitrous oxide and water vapor. Carbon footprint is the amount of greenhouse gases emitted over a product's life cycle, usually in units of carbon dioxide, and is used to measure a product's impact on the environment or climate change. Carbon footprints are generated throughout the entire process, from the raw material to its disposal. Carbon footprint importance Carbon footprints provide a way to quantify the emissions caused by a product and the concentration of trends supported and referenced by international standard documents. During the life cycle, a company can understand the product phases that can be improved, based on the carbon footprint quantity, to reduce the environmental impact from emissions. A carbon footprint report, certified by a professional organization, can also provide companies with a marketing tool for sustainability. Carbon Footprint Evaluation and Calculation The calculation of the carbon footprint is based on the requirements in the GHG protocol and ISO 14064. The consumption data of the activity is multiplied with an emission factor to obtain the carbon footprint. The variables involved in the formula are influenced by the fuel used, the type of energy and the activity expected. The formula can be applied at all stages of the life cycle. Carbon footprint equals activity data rex emission factor. Scope of carbon emissions considering the complexity of the life cycle, all facilities, businesses, or individuals involved in the production of a product may be included in the scope of the system boundary, and carbon emissions are categorized into three categories, based on their scope. 1. Direct emissions, GHG emissions associated with the combustion of sources owned or controlled by a business or individual, for example, boilers, vehicles, furnaces, etc. 2. Indirect energy related GHG emissions, GHG emissions associated with the purchase of energy, such as electricity, electricity, steam, or compressed air, which is obtained and consumed by the business or individual. 3. Other indirect emissions, GHG emissions that result from the activities of a business or individual, but the source of these emissions is not owned or controlled by the business or individual. Challenges and opportunities for carbon footprint reduction. Challenges include but are not limited to obtaining accurate and complete emissions data, more difficult if it is an international industry. 
measurement and management of scope 3, other non-direct carbon footprints, balancing economic profitability and emission reduction measures. Opportunity include but are not limited to, development and application of sustainable production technologies international sustainable industry development and cooperation sustainable company reputation and brand development sustainable transportation, supply chain as competitive advantage. What is CFP? Carbon footprint of products, CFP is a method of measuring the environmental impact of products and services by calculating their greenhouse gas GHG, emissions over their whole life cycle, from raw material extraction, production, transportation, usage, and maintenance to disposal and recycling. It is usually presented in terms of carbon dioxide equivalents. CFP study principles CFP quantification should consider the entire life cycle of a product, from raw material extraction to end of life disposal or recycling. Natural sciences, such as physics and chemistry, should be prioritized in CFP research. If this cannot be applied, other types of scientific methods, social and economic sciences, will be used. Value-based methodological choices are allowed only when there is no natural science basis and other scientific methods or international conventions requirements. CFP studies should use internationally approved standards and guidance documents and ensure that the methodology of the study is appropriate for the study of GHG emissions and that research-related questions, hypotheses, and methodology are clearly explained and publicized. CFP PCR adoption method, if the product or service being studied, has an associated product category rules, PCR, or CFP PCR, it should be adopted to be used to help determine the carbon footprint of the study object. If multiple PCRs or CFP PCRs exist, the choice of which set to adopt, should be determined by the organization applying for the document. If the relevant CFP PCR does not exist, the requirements are based on other internationally recognized specific documents. What is PCR? The product category rules, PCR, provide guidance on how to conduct a life cycle assessment, LCA. It defines what you need to consider, which includes but is not limited to 1. System boundaries, which processes and phases of the product life cycle need to be considered to Declaration slash functional unit, quantity, weight and useful life of the product being assessed 3. How to define usage phases, end of life options, etc. What is CFP PCR? CFP PCR is set of specific rules, requirements, and guidelines for CFP or partial CFP quantification and communication for one of more product categories the CFP PCR defines the objectives and scope of the product category and should include the life cycle stages to be included, the parameters to be covered, and the way in which the parameters will be organized and documented. CFP quantification is carried out according to ISO 14044, colon, 2006, Environmental Management, Life Cycle Assessment, Requirements, and Guidelines. Application of the relevant CFP PCR document is compulsory if the study target has related document. ISO 14067 and the ISO 14060 series of standards, in order to reduce the concentration of greenhouse gases, GHGs, which are contributing to climate change due to man-made activities, the ISO 14060 series of standards has been developed to provide a uniform international standard for quantifying, monitoring, reporting, and verifying emissions and reductions of GHGs. This image shows the relationship of the ISO 14060 series, which contains the following standards, ISO 14064, ISO 14065, ISO 14066, and ISO 14067. ISO 14064 provides the standards for developing GHG inventories and GHG evaluations. ISO 14065 provides the requirements for validation of applicant organizations. And ISO 14066 provides the standards for validation of standards for the performance capacity of the team. ISO 14067 
which was the main topic of the presentation, has as its main objective in the framework to provide life cycle carbon footprint report of the research objectives. ISO 14067 and GHG management standards in addition to ISO 14067, there are several internationalized standards that have links to GHG management. Through the adoption of more relevant ISO standards, it is possible to provide research organizations with a more complete understanding of the carbon footprint. These other ISO standards are ISO 14026, ISO TS 14027, ISO 14044, ISO TS 14071. It is important to remember that not all ISO standards will be applied to every GHG management, depending on the CFP's research objectives. This image shows the GHG management standards and documents related to ISO 14067. According to ISO 14026 2017, footprint communication is defined in the framework as the following, a study of the life cycle of a certain product or service as a precondition, the life cycle assessment preparation process, the spreading of the indicator results, as well as any information and clarifications that can support it. All of the above are within the scope of footprint communication. The CFP study, provided by ISO 14067 will use two different choices of relevant documents depending on the purpose. The two purposes are for internal organizational use and footprint communication. History of ISO 14067 ISO 14067 was introduced at the first ISO-TC, Technical Committee, 207-WG, Working Group, 2 meeting in April 2008 and the first version of the document was produced in 2013. This standard is based on the previous ISO Environmental Management Standards, which include ISO 14020, ISO 14024, ISO 14025, ISO 14040, and ISO 14044. The two versions of the standard are ISO TS 14067, 2013, and ISO 14067, 2018. Technical Committee and latest ISO standard is ISO slash TC 207 slash SC7. Methodology for quantification of the CFP and partial CFP This section describes the principles and procedures for assessing and quantifying the CFP, which follows the same four-step process used for LCA assessment in ISO 14040, which are definition of objectives and scope, LCI, life cycle inventory analysis, LCIA, life cycle impact assessment, and interpretation. The following are the main contributions of ISO 14067. On system boundary definitions, the standard provides four options for system boundaries. 1. Cradle to grave. 2. Cradle to gate. 3. Gate to gate and 4. Partial CFP The approach effectively refines the scope of the study and improves GHG and life cycle studies. It also provides a better guide for comparing carbon footprints between different products. The CFPs of both products should follow the same system boundaries or product systems, avoiding changes in the statistics, generated by voluntary actions, etc. In addition, both comparison sides should follow the requirements of ISO 14067. CFP report and critical review The CFP study should provide a detailed explanation of the results, data, methods, assumptions used, and life cycle involved. The type and format of this study is described and confirmed during the objective and scope definition phase of the CFP study. The way GHG's emissions are measured should consider a variety of sources, for example, biological emissions and absorption, emissions from transportation, including aircraft transportation, GHG changes due to land use, and so on. In addition to this, a critical review can enhance the reliability of this CFP study. The critical review should be conducted in accordance with ISO-TS 14071. Application of ISO 14067 
2018 ISO 14067, colon, 2018 can be used in situations not limited to the following. 1. Environmental and carbon footprint marketing, where the standard can inform consumers about the greenhouse gas emission status of a product, while supporting and promoting local sustainability goals 2. Assessing the GHG emissions of a product or service, which can be used to make decisions about better processes and transportation methods, usually involving the supply transportation and manufacturing processes of products and raw materials 3 regulatory requirements as an international standard the document can provide a reliable reference source for companies to use to comply with local ghg legal requirements if clearly stated case study patagonia the clothing brand uses sustainable clothing production methods and marketing strategies to reduce its carbon emissions and footprint According to information provided on the official website, as of fall 2023, the product line uses up to 98% recycled materials, reducing 13,300 tons of carbon dioxide equivalent. They also use organically grown cotton without the use of harmful chemicals, saving water and reducing carbon emissions. Established a climate impact program with the goal of reducing three scopes of GHG emissions for the future. The brand has a clothing repair service that encourages customers to recycle and buy new clothing carefully. Here is a quiz session. The ISO 14067 document covers GHG, carbon footprint emissions of a product or service, and provides standards for CFP studies based on the life cycle as a framework. Can it be used to assess the environmental impacts caused by the life cycle of a product or service? No, although the standard is consistent with the LCA assessment approach, it is only used to quantify and standardize the carbon footprint of a product and some of the CFP reporting requirements. In addition, the standard requires that any dated document covered by this standard should cite the latest version or the version that is applicable to be cited. This is a reference list used in this presentation video. That's all for this video which is about carbon footprint of products requirements and guidelines. Thank you for watching.